What's up? Live from the box Chevy. Live from the box Chevy. What's up with y'all? I can't see who all's in here. I just wanted to go live on the box Chevy, show y'all my jewelry upgrade. If you see it, you see it. What's up with y'all? Whoever's in here, what's up, what's up, what's up? Kenton Customs here. LS Box Chevy Gang, 30 Gang, 30 Gang. I'm going to turn this camera around in a minute and show y'all everything. Turn this camera around. All right. Excuse the mess, but I just added that jewelry to the Box Chevy, man. So I just wanted to let y'all see what's going on. That's from where I had to drill out the holes. Tell me what y'all think about that jewelry, man. Chris901, what's up with you, homie? He said, it's just me, fam. That's what's up. What y'all think about that jewelry for the box Chevy? Box Chevy. Got that custom Caprice logo on there, man. Got your emergency brake. Brake. Gas pedal. Then back here. We got the vents. And like I said, excuse the mess, man. Excuse the mess. Because I have not cleaned up the Chevy. I was supposed to be at Scary Fast right now with swaps and vapors and Hell Boogie and everybody, man. But I didn't make it, man. Box Chevy wasn't acting right, man. So I just decided to stay here and uh, do what I had to do with the Box Chevy, man. Get her all the way official. So... That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, man. Just got that G6 put in. What you think about that G6 roof, man? What y'all think about that? Got the original switches up here. And yes, that is suede. That is suede. Suede headliner. Yup. Suede headliner. With that leather. Like I said, excuse the mess. Excuse the mess. But I just want to show y'all them lips. D. Brooks, what's going on, homie? What's going on, man? I just added some jewelry to the box Chevy, so I wanted to get on here real quick and show that off. Nothing special. Nothing special. Didn't get to make it to scary fast, so I was piddling. But uh, if you haven't seen it, I added the uh, the door vents, and then I added the pedals. So they all got the custom Caprice logo on there. And of course, I just got that interior done 24 hours ago. G6 sunroof, suede headliner, all that. So if you haven't seen it, I'll give you all first peek right here before the cleanup. This is before the cleanup. So give me a chance to clean up Black Beauty. She'll look 10 times better. 10 times better after I clean her up. But yeah, there she go. Oh, yeah, I did put a double den in, too. I didn't even tell y'all about that. But yeah, I did put a double den in. It's not 100% professional, you know what I mean? But I did cut it out. I'm going to put a, a double den bezel, like a little square bezel around this. But uh, I wasn't about to spend $500 on no uh, kit when I got uh, means of cutting it out and putting it in there, too. So that's what I did. That's what I did. So that's what's going on. That's what's going on. But yeah, I put that double dent in today. So there she go. 
Just a little double deer, something slight. Nothing major. So we have some music. Let me see if I can read these comments. Sometimes you got to be a little cheap. Yeah, I had to, man. I just don't see spending 550 on that piece, man. <laughs> you know, I don't. Badass Mustang, what's up, what's up? I appreciate it. I appreciate it, D. Brooks, man. Like I said, it's not a perfect, it ain't the showroom Chevy, but it's, it's clean to me. I want it to be street, like I said, street car show ready, man. Yeah, man. But you see, we got them big old lips on her, didn't we? We got a tuck in them 30s, man. Me and Swaps got these 30s tucking, so we was able to do that. We do got a little air in the air shocks right now. We got a little air in the air shocks, nothing, nothing major, but it will drop down, come down to about, come down to about right there. So it's pretty much a good look. It's a good look. I'm at the upholstery shop, so... We was going hard in here for 24 hours to get this interior put in. So excuse the mess. We just cut out the roof of Black Beauty last night. There she is right there. That's the skin of what we cut out to get that G6 sunroof in. What y'all think about that G6 sunroof that was cut in last night? We have not did the body work or nothing. Yep, we have not did the body work or nothing. The springs on the front. Okay, the springs on the front is original box Chevy springs. I've actually got a part number over here for you. But we do got a spindle, a lift spindle, and we got upper tubular control arms. I don't know. They may have done took that box out. But it's the stock cool spring for a box Chevy, 88 box Chevy at O'Reilly Auto Parts. And that's the stock spring. Let me see if I can get a shot for you. There she is. Y'all see her? There she goes. Stock spring, stock spring. 30 gang, 30 gang. So, we got a couple of little things we got to uh, adjust on the suspension still. It's got a little bit, bit too much, too much give in it. So, we're going to work that out. So, I think me and Swap's gonna put our heads together tomorrow before the Hall's car show and try to get that whoop, get that knocked out. Yeah, the spindles did most of the lifting. I'm not gonna lie to you. And uh, along with the, the tubular control arms at the top, to kind of give you a push you back out <clears throat> because if not, your wheels will be bow legged. So we're trying to get it all together. But uh, yeah, it's not 100% the way I want it. I am going to change over to QA1's front and back double adjustable. Um, I was rushing, trying to get to a car show, and I just threw the springs I could in. We did cut the other ones out. We cut them out yesterday too, so we was trying to rush to get to Scary Fast. Unfortunately, we, uh, we didn't make it for some unforeseen uh, circumstances. <laughs> but uh, neither nor there. We coming to Halls, Tennessee tomorrow. I don't care. I'm going to put it on the trailer and bring it because I've missed the entire year this year because I've worked on other people's cars and, you know what I'm saying, kind of put mine off to the side. So now I'm just going to go ahead and focus on Black Beauty for the rest of the winter. You will see me focusing on that. Now, I do got a, a orange LS box Chevy. It's Tay Parks. I do got to finish his. But he's putting some rims on it, some tires, and he's pretty much going to be wrapped up after we get him out of the interior shop. So, same interior shop. Big shout out to Clanton and Dyersburg. That's my dog, him, Perch. Shout out to Perch Williams. Uh, if you know Perch, you know what he says all the time, chump. So, he's always talking about chump this and chump that. Well, that chump got me a roof. You know what I mean? He got me a damn good roof. So, he got that G6 gang gang. So, uh, Clanton did a good job cutting it out last night, him and his son. All I got to do now is do the body work. So if you can see right here where we welded it in, we just threw a little primer to keep it from rusting. And we're going to go back and do all that body work. You know what I'm saying? So we'll do that body work and smooth it out real smooth, and it'll be a smooth transition. Uh, it did help that I bought a box Chevy that already had a G6 sunroof in at one time from Elite Sunroofs in Atlanta, Georgia. 
So we kind of had that as a blueprint to put this roof in. We actually marked it and put it in the same location as they did, uh, including the uh, control panel at the top. It's all factory. That's suede sunroof right there. I mean, suede headliner material. And we wrapped it. We wrapped the original uh, one, two, three, four of the G6 roof and the shade button, which you see the shade right there. It was like a tan color. We're going to be dyeing that uh, gray to match the gray and black theme. We're going throughout the car. Uh, we got the uh, black carpets. See? And we're actually going to take this right here. And we're going to make it black. So it's going to be have a gray and black theme throughout, but we're going to keep it stock looking because that's the way I want it. I want it custom, but stock. So that's what it is. I just wanted to jump in real quick, show y'all what's going on, man, and show y'all Black Beauty. What I got going on with her mainly was to show y'all that jewelry, man. I just want to jump in here and show y'all that jewelry. I added the Black Beauty. I think that stuff like that sets the car off when you add them little small details like that, along with the matching steering wheel, Ruchis, all that. It's a good combo, so. But yeah, Black Beauty, she is hopefully going to make it to the Halls Tennessee Car Show tomorrow. So I hope to see y'all. I will go live. That interior looks clean. Is that original? Yes. Okay. So this car was, that's why I picked Black Beauty to fix up all the stock original seats. Uh, these are all OG seats. They need to be cleaned up for real because it's been sitting. But what's up, Black Rain? uh but yeah this is all stock the only customized and i did the headliner was falling down so that's what made me do a sunroof because the sunroof if you do a sunroof you'll go ahead and put in a new headliner so i decided uh big shout out to fly by g money he inspired me with the uh suede sunroof so i went ahead and did the suede sunroof uh the suede headliner material with the sunroof i apologize and the suede in the back we did that, and then the black carpet. That was an inspiration for my dog, Fly by G Money. And he's actually coming down to Hall's Tennessee Car Show uh, tomorrow. So he's probably on his way right now. So, But, yeah, all of this is stock. Of course, we wrapped the dash at the top here. We That's not stock, as you know. We wrapped it into a black vinyl and because uh, it was cracked. And, but everything else was stock on this box Chevy. So pretty clean box Chevy. There is no rust on this Chevy at all. So that's why I got it. Uh, got 412s in the back. Got a, uh, yeah, Fly is on his way. That's what's up. Got a little Optima battery. I'll be adding another one whenever I hook my beat up. The beat gets hooked up right over here with another cable. So that's what's going on. So got them 412s. Got to get that figured out and make sure all that gets tightened up. But yeah, that's original even in the back. Back here, all this is original. Other than, of course, the beat. Uh, the top is original. This is called tuxedo material. It's an original box Chevy top. When this one starts sun fading or cracking, I'm going to switch this over to a black cloth. So, nice big port on the back. Yeah, it's got one nice big port. Uh, this, was, this was probably a really good sound system back in the day. <laughs> but I know nowadays they got something. This is old. This is something old. Yeah, the rear deck speakers, I've actually got Pioneer. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they Pioneer speakers, so that's what I got. Pioneer and everything else is OptiDrive, Lanzar from back years ago. Um, and, of course, y'all probably done seen the motor a thousand times on my videos, so I ain't going to bore y'all with the motor. But I will let y'all hear it since there's seven people up in here.
My bad, y'all. Y'all went to my Bluetooth. Can y'all hear me now? I don't know if y'all can hear me now, but y'all went to my Bluetooth. My bad. In the in the car. Y'all went to the car. <laughs> can y'all hear me now? If you can hear me, drop a comment. Let me know you can hear me now. But I was just telling y'all that uh big shout out to Lit Plate 731. Got that Kenton Custom Marlin. Sounds good now. Okay, D Brooks. I appreciate that, bro. So I was rushing to get some of these special features on the uh car done for this car show but i missed it hopefully i can make it to halls tennessee tomorrow hopefully black beauty wants to be there so yeah these are kenton customs these are uh lit plates 731 marlin on instagram lit plates big shout out to him you can do any logo you want your youtube channel just like me holla at them tell them kenton customs sent you uh their led backlit any logo you need, just send it to him. He'll get you together. Tim McBride, I see you up in here, 30-inch Amigos. You need to get you a 30-inch Amigo plate if you ain't already got one. But, yeah, I was telling y'all we got another donk over here on 30s. So that's a donk on 30s right here. Got some cut work going on. Got a 96 SS Impala right there. That's my homie KB. We got another donk over here. We got a Firebird. Got a little Cadillac with the uh, the grilling woman. Y'all know about the woman on the grill, man. The flying lady. Look at that lady, man. <laughs> uh, but then I got the other LS box Chevy sitting right over there. That's Tay Parks. We're finishing up the interior on him, too. So it's a whole lot of LS box Chevy gang shit. I had the trailer ready to get Black Beauty, go to the car show, man. You know, you know how that thing goes, but I'm gonna try to get up early. I'm gonna shut down the shop tonight over here at Clanton's and uh, get up out of here, man. And uh, get up in the morning and do it again, do it again. So just want to check in with y'all, show y'all what I was working on. So I'm gonna clean up Black Beauty. Hopefully I can find somebody to detail and, and, and wax and wash and all that good stuff tomorrow. Cause man, I'm filthy, man, filthy. <laughs> I don't even want to show y'all, but I've been sitting from shop to shop to rear end swaps to frame notch to 30s to, man, I've been doing all kind of stuff, bro. So, y'all know how that goes. Ain't got time to clean it up when you're going from shop to shop. It ain't going to do nothing but get dirty again, dirty again. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, if y'all y'all going to be out tomorrow, pull up to Halls, Tennessee, 30-inch Amigos. Um, G Money's going to be there. Swaps performance gonna be there. Big shout out to big shout out to the uh 30 inch amigos. They always show out for the community and do a lot of positive things. So yeah, man. I'm gonna try to try to get some rest tonight. Cause I've been up for two days fooling with Black Beauty, man. I love her to death, but you know I gotta have some sleep. <laughs> oh man, I gotta have some sleep. I'm gonna be dreaming about 30s tonight, man. But yeah, oh Tim, I need my I need my 30 inch amigo shirt. I ain't got it yet. I'm trying, I'm a do do I qualify for a 30 inch amigo, man? I'm trying to qualify, man. I don't know what I gotta do, fill out an application or what, but I got 30s, man. <laughs> but yeah, I need a 30 inch amigo shirt, man. And big shout out to Tim McBride, man. You was wearing that Kenton Custom uh shirt at the last event. So I appreciate you, man. So I really appreciate you, bro. Yeah, gotcha. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, just let me know what I got to do. I got a good credit, Tim, so maybe I can pass or whatever. I need that 30-inch Amigo shirt, so whatever I got to do, I'll do it. But uh, I'm going to end it tonight. I appreciate y'all stopping in with Canton Customs. The kids probably tired. They ready to go. I done tore up a light on the side of my box. I got to replace it tomorrow. Louie's supposed to be bringing that. Big shout-out to Box Chevy King. He's supposed to be bringing me new lights because these are pretty bad from where I bought the car before. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants some 30-inch Amigo shirts. So, yeah, tap in and get them 30-inch Amigo shirt. Maybe my homie can get a website together and y'all can just order straight from the website because that's a dope, that's a dope, man, that's a dope car club name, 30-inch Amigo. So, it is what it is, y'all. So, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Appreciate y'all checking in with Kenton Customs. If I make it to Halls, Tennessee with Black Beauty, I'll pull up. It is under construction now, so don't think it's car show. Barrett Jackson, 
box Chevy. It's not. <laughs> I'm even bringing it before I do the body work at the top. I'm even going to bring it. This is my boy, Boss Man. That's what's up. Uh, so even before I do the body working spread at the top, you're going to get real raw content, real raw footage of Canton Customs. I want it to be all real and authentic, so you're going to get to see it. Get to see it. So hopefully we can get on the trailer and bring it out to the car show, man, and have a good time with our families because that's what it's about. No violence, peace, and uh, spending time with the families with these cars. So that's what it is. So appreciate you rocking with your boy as always. Canton Custom, LS by Chevy Game, 30-inch Gang, 30-inch Amigos. Big shout out uh, to y'all, man. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And y'all stay positive and stay prayed up like 78 Chevy Boy says. Y'all have a good night.